Hey there, it's Dan Fasher here. I just wanted to show some of you who've been asking how to use Statamic to power, um, to headlessly power a static site generator. And this is going to be a quick example using my favorite static site generator, 11T. So I'm in VS Code here, and you can see my folder structure down on the left here. So we've just got a folder called Statamic Headless. This is just a real skeleton dummy project. The, the structure is what's really important here. So Statamic always has a site folder and that holds both the settings and the content for a site. But what you'll see is I've got some different stuff in here. I have npm installed 11t into this folder which is a pretty weird thing to do. You don't usually have a node modules in, in this. And consequently, um, I need to have my 11T uh, settings in there as well. So I've got a very simple bare bones 11T uh, setup. Um, so to prove that this works, um, I'm in the site folder and I'll just do npx 11T serve and it should spin up a site. So there we go, the local host server is running and we can hop over to my browser um, and, and see that in action. There we go. Now I'm gonna just go to the Statamic admin panel here and create a post. I'll just copy that a few times to make some dummy content and fill it out. So that should be enough. When we hit save, it will publish and that will um, create a new markdown file, which 11T is watching for, and it'll trigger a build. So let's just have a little look. There we go. My post has been added at the bottom and there's the detail page. And if we go back over to VS Code, we can see the details of the triggered 11T build at the bottom there based on that new markdown file which the Statamic admin panel created. So that's how you can use Statamic V2 without any plugins out of the box to drive a static site generator 